Hi Capricorn, welcome to your January 2021 reading. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for watching. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you for being a part of our High Vibe community. It is winter solstice today. I am on the eve of winter solstice recording these videos. These are going to be your general monthly readings for the month of January for 2021. Please click, click subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below, let me know what you think of this video at the end. And if you are interested in working together with me, either through a tarot reading, spiritual healing, crystal healing, chakra healing, all my services are available in the description box below. This video is in honor and dedicated to my great queen, the Morgan. If you hear that noise, uh, I will speak a little bit louder. I do notice that it is pretty loud. It's my fan uh, that keeps me warm because my office is cold. Uh, so forgive that. I'm going to try and see if I can turn it off, all right? Because, uh, yeah, it's a, pretty, it's a little bit loud, isn't it? There we go. Okay, let's get this going. So you get three cards for career finances. Nice, the Knight of Wands. Three cards for love and romance and three cards for general overall energy, all right? So I'm looking at this and I'm seeing that you might struggle to... Okay, oh, I like this. Let's see what's going on. You are quickly moving forward to your financial fulfillment, to that which um, brings you not only abundance, um, but also a very comfortable uh living environment okay around your career and finances you got the knight of wands you got the ten of cups you got the six of wands and you got the eight of wands um a couple of things to note with these this this spread here there's a lot of fiery energy okay capricorn you are an earth sign you in particular may have a lot of fiery um planets um, and sorry signs around um, your finances. So things like your uh, second house, um, your seventh house, your 10th house, your 11th house. Uh, take a look at those if you know how to read your natal chart because um, it just looks like stuff around your money is um, uh, being lit up, okay? There's a lot of fiery energy, passionate energy. Um, some of you may be getting recognized for the hard work that you're doing. There's a lot of communication back and forth. They're actually me. For some of you that this resonates with Capricorn, there may exist this opportunity where um, you get some type of promotion or um, this opportunity to go and present to people, public speak to people, um, teach people, um, have conversations with people, um, mentor people. It's almost like you have been recognized, especially with the six of wands, you've been recognized for your hard work, um, for the way that you have created your business um, to have so much stability and comfort. Um, and then people are messaging you, corporations, companies, business, are messaging you asking you for you to um, you know come and do a seminar uh, work with their employees uh, support them in understanding how to create the um, type of abundance that you've created a lot of public recognition for you okay general overall energy for January for Capricorn three cards please if you are into gemstone healing jewelry, don't forget to check my link in the description box below to my crystal jewelry line called Star Sea Jewels. I am wearing Venus and Aphrodite on this arm, and I am wearing Evil Eye, Malojo, and Bologna on this wrist. All right, uh, there's unisex, male, female, whatever you're looking for in there. That's too many cards. What are you saying? You're saying take this and take this. Okay. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Okay. The amount. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. The amount of major arcana here. Um, you know, let me pull your love cards first. Um, but I just need to tell you that January is going to be an explosive month for you. Uh, I just heard in particular, if you are a uh, Capricorn rising and you're watching this, that's too many. Can I just get three for uh, love and romance, please? You are birthing so many ideas, so many things, um, so many opportunities. Okay, let's see what else is going on. Love and romance here. Last card, please. 
Okay, whew, so love and romance is looking a little bit uh, heavy. I, I am gonna get a clarifier on this because of this here going on, but I, I do need to tell you that your finances, your career, your money, uh, the way that you're designing your life moving forward um, into 2021, um, it's like, if you don't fit into my life how I want you to fit, you're gone. And so naturally remember that not every message in these readings is going to resonate with everyone. Okay, in this particular reading, um, you know, you may resonate with the career finances, but not the love portion. You know, with the love stuff, I am going to tell you um, what I'm seeing, okay? Some of you are actually wrapping up a cycle with somebody because they're, they're just un you're unable to receive that Ten of Cups with them, okay? But others of you are... <sighs> Others of you are healing from uh, some type of heartbreak, um, some type of disappointment, some type of argument, some type of obstacle um, that happened because of the amount of recognition that you're receiving around your career and finances. This right here is absolutely stunning. Okay, that is a beautiful like spread okay and you have really beautiful cards and a lot of major arcana your life has a lot of major arcana your romance doesn't which is telling me that you're completing cycles you're beginning a new chapter a new turn around the sun and you're making this conscious choice to no longer involve yourself in anything in any matters of the heart which will leave you in pain you're healing from this i'm going to pull one more card to clarify the three of swords but you've walked away, walked away from absolutely everything, ideas, self-limiting beliefs, um, relationship patterns that don't serve you. You've stopped trying to fight for it. Maybe for some of you, there's a little bit more fight left in you in the beginning of January, but I don't see that going on as uh, the rest of the month progresses because you have the world smack dab middle in your reading. And when you have the world smack dab middle in your reading, it's telling you that your entire journey for the month of January is going to be about completing cycles, right? Um, coming to fruition, reading, reaching a point in your life now in order for you to move on. And when you move on, you move on in this energy of contemplation, of inaction. The hanged man, he sits here very comfortably. He's not afraid. He's not worried. He's not stressed that he's upside down. He's actually observing. And I think what you're observing is that Yes, this relationship or this situation in in your in your in your the star as I cracked open um, in your love life um, may have um, you know left you with a few wounds, left you with some pain, left you with some healing. But you also realize that you are so much more than the sum of this because you are the empress because you have the ten of cups because you have the six of wands because you have the world the hanged man you have so much good stuff going on for you in your life that you've made this decision to just not really like honestly care if somebody in your love life is just not going to align with you okay i just want to get a clarify on this three of swords because to me this is telling me like i don't i don't think that anything is happening in january I think this is like you're taking this month to heal uh this is a, a healing yeah justice and the moon exactly okay there's fears there's illusions there's things you don't know but universe is saying i'm bringing in justice i'm clearing your karma because you are going places capricorn you are going places and you cannot go to these places while you still maintain individuals who don't vibrate in the same alignment with you okay Let's get a romance card here for Capricorn. Some of you um, may have broken off an engagement, okay? Um, yeah. Trust that the situation is calling for you to have faith. They're saying pull one more. And that's love yourself first and separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. Yeah, I mean, we saw all this stuff. Maybe some of you got engaged and then realized like you didn't want to engage. Maybe some of you wanted to get engaged and your partner turned around and said it's not the time. Um, I think you're just taking a lot of time to yourself. I don't know so much that these are like complete endings for all of you. Obviously, every situation is different. If you want me to do a private reading with you, um, shoot me, uh, uh, sorry, get in touch with me via the description box below, okay? Um, let's see what's going on here. I'm going to pull out an astrology card, see what we have, astrologically speaking. Okay, lots of, lots of cards for you here. It's like, you know, it's your birthday month, so I'm, I'm okay with that. 
You got Taurus. Oh, that's the Empress right there too. Okay, taking care of your home, taking care of the things that make you feel comfortable. Um, doing like there's a lot of Venus energy, even with justice here. Venus is all about self love, like indulging, um, really taking care of you. And that Empress card speaks to it completely. It's it's abundance. It's comfortable. It's luxury. Okay. And that's what you're focused on right now with Mercury uh, ruling Gemini, uh, you know, and um, also Virgo. I am going to tell you, there's going to be a lot of communication, which we already saw, right, up in your career with this uh, Eight of Wands. There's going to be a lot of chitter chatter, a lot of conversations, a lot of discussions moving back and forth. You know, don't jump the gun um, to the first offer or proposal that's given to you. I think that you're going to be very sought after Capricorn. With Destiny and Challenges in the North Node, this is what you were destined to do. And I truly firmly and very strongly believe that this has a lot to do with your career. Capricorn, it's like you've been through this journey, right, where maybe the last few months, you know, if, if you've been following along, I've been telling you to focus on your relationships, your love life, but January marks this new chapter in your life where it's like, you know what, if the relationship's not meant to work right now, then that's okay. If relationships need to take a back burner, that's okay because right now your career is, is propelling forward faster than I don't even think you can imagine pride i love myself and i see myself in everyone okay so yeah maybe some of you um have a little bit of ego uh, shadow work to do a little bit of healing of the ego okay um taking care of that ego but really this month honestly overall is looking fabulous for your self-growth your self-development and the future that you are designing for you all right capricorn thank you so much for watching thank you for all your support your likes your comments your shares your subscribes if you're interested in crystal gemstone healing jewelry description box below has the link to star c jewels i ship all over the world thank you so much we'll see you later alligator peace out bye